Hello and welcome, the Alice here from Tykes TV and I've got Daniel on again. So Daniel, as always, it's been great to have you on. You've got some good content, some good comments and some good feedback as well on the uh, channel. Um, so Brilliant. yeah. Thanks for having me back, Neil. No problem, it was a pleasure, Daniel. Um, yeah, well, just touch briefly on the game against you know Newcastle and then going into the meet on Bones Charlton game. Um, a couple of youngsters playing, a uh, bit of a mix and match, I think we all guessed. I think we're pleased yeah. to see a lot of youngsters gain a chance as well, uh, Daniel. Yeah, definitely. And I think as well, what was what was also good um, is that the youngsters bit taking that chances, which is, you know, which were unfortunate against. I think that were unfortunate against Lincoln when we didn't have we did when those young lads played, they didn't quite have the. Well, we were three 0 down after a certain mm. amount, you know, after not a very sh long amount of time. So, I suppose that that had an that had a had an effect on the young lads, but it was nice to see, obviously, Butterfield getting the goal. Um, it was nice to see us on top, uh, even though I think we just had a bit less possession than the under-21s, but we we neutralised their threat really well. Mm. And then, obviously, Butterfield getting on the score sheet, and they looked like, as well, that we're that the young that the young lads were were attacking with a lot of intent and they wanted to take those chances and they wanted to get it at Newcastle, which is really good. Um and uh talking about young lads taking chances, what a goal from uh, I can't pronounce his name very well. Lacaretch, is oh, it Lacaretch? Uh, yeah. Lacaretch. Lacaretch. Yeah, Lacaretch. Fantastic finish from him. Um that's yeah. that's what you want to see, a young lad with confidence and I, I think that's I, I think that's you know if he's I can't um, I'm not right sure if our intentions are to start him, but if he wants to mm. start, then it's not a bad way. Or uh, it, it can it can definitely add something to the team when he's pulling off when he's scoring goals like that. And so yeah, good. Um, although it's uh, it's a game that I think we've I think the mm. competition quality uh, has yeah. gone down a lot since we last won it, mm. uh, which is a pity. But a win's a win, and you've got to take it. Yeah, I mean, like you said, Via. I mean, some of the players in Via, but trying to stake a claim for first team. Um, and I don't think you know Butterfield and uh, is highly regarded in Leicester City. Uh, released him, but he's been on trial with us. Mm. And Laresh again, a uh, decent showing. Good to see Nicky Cadden as captain, getting some more minutes under the belt from injury. Yeah, Jamie Searle again. So, yeah, uh, quite a few youngsters, uh, Ackroyd and that. Jallo, all having a bit of run out and, you know, showing the way in front of uh, Gaffer, which kind of brings on to Charlton uh, game at weekend. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a different kettle of fish, this one. Uh, Charlton, for me, I mean, Duff's gone on record, said, you know, the, the you know, next Premier League club, well-established and that, and kind of record that thoughts is that they're, they're a decent setup, they're, they're a well-run club as well. Um, and it's one of them size Charlton that they're always like seem to be the unknown, but there's always a potential threat there with Charlton. We, you know, the setup and the the players and personnel what we've got there, Daniel. Yeah, completely agree. <clears throat> um, I think we are catching Charlton at a decent time. Um, and what I mean by that, I mean I've just had a quick look through their form, uh, their form, um, and I don't think they've recorded a win since sixteenth of August. Um, mm. a league win, sorry, they did win in the mm. um the trophy um yeah. the, the, EF, the efl trophy so um so yeah i mean it yeah i mean they've got I, I, so we've got a good time to play them but at the same time they're probably thinking about, about the same about us because i think our own form now is like turning into a little bit of an albatross around his neck um yeah. pardon the cliches but the, it, it is and you know and so uh, it's going to be an interesting game. I think they can still th there's obviously still a threat there. We can't underestimate sides. I think we did that against Port Vale. We went through. I were on. Obviously, I were talking on here about the Port Vale game. Yeah. Um, we can't underestimate them. I think Duff coming out and making those comments shows that we are taking we are taking this side seriously. We're not going. To, it's not going to be an easy game. Um, but. I would like us to see us take, for, you know, one thing we haven't done is take those momentum from winning those games against Sheffield Wednesday and um, where we, you, you know, we haven't, we haven't like built on that. And that'll be something, that'll be something really, really nice to see if we mm. could do that. Because I think, you know, when we got that win at Cambridge, you felt, you felt a change in the crowd and you felt like that. 
that something had kind of switched and, yeah. you know, it were, it were a side that never wanted to go down or be defeated. When we went down to 10 men with Kitchen, because completely different, we were a completely different side after that. Um, so I think... Um, I, th- I think the big the big challenge is is how to take that momentum from Cambridge into this game, and I'm hoping we can do it because if we hit this home form and we carry on playing strongly away, we could end up with a very, very good position at Christmas. Yeah, good point. That uh, it's like what you mentioned. We we is a away record compared to like his home record. I think pressure on his kind of thing at home with, with his fans when you go away. I said that pressure's kind of in a way that we can express it a bit more. Uh, First mm. half against Cambridge, I thought we were a bit. <clears throat> I thought the Rodgers looked. To be fair, I mean they had some, you know, chances. Yes, I uh, agree. You know, they, I mean, some defending them at times of space. I'm like, oh my god! And the weird mm. thing was is that, uh, yeah, uh, bad injury to Brad Collins um, and Touchwood. It's all. It looks like a broken nose and a couple of shiners. No, to us is good to see him walk off. I said mm. stagger off. But I think when we went down to 10 men, for me, what was pleasing to see is that it sent to, I think other fans like bought into it, but I think the team it sent, it tried, tried to, it sent to like galvanise us more and try to make us believe yeah. in that. It didn't, we didn't like give up and it, at times I'm thinking, it don't like we're down to 10 men here because everybody were putting the bodies online and we were soaking it up well and Norwood's goal epitomised it is that they were attacking us. And we controlled it, had yeah. a look up, long ball over, and he took it well, you know. And I thought that kind of thing, what I can see with Duff and his, you know, Patterson and Devaney is working on that. Is like, look, we need to act on this. Do you kind of agree with that? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, and I think it's it's the it's like back to that thing, it's like back to what you said in, in, in there. It's about having that fear, and it were like when we went down to 10 men it did feel like they were like well if we go on to lose this game mm. you know who's gonna you know it was gonna follow we that playing 30 minutes with 10 men mm. and i think it was something switched in the lads heads where it's like we're gonna press them because we'd rather go down fighting than go de- then just sit back and just defend for 30 minutes because I, I mean again i mean the score like the score like we played really really well i'm not taking anything away from the lads at all but cambridge going into that game game weren't a bad side you know mm. they they could threaten us they were putting the, the build-up play in the first half showed that they could play for they could they could go toe-to-toe against us and to go from that, that where they've got a massive morale boost off that uh, they had a massive morale boost after we got went down to 10 men to mm. combat that we come we're pressing um i don't think i've seen impressing like that since since that playoff playoff season i think we were yeah. that good um and um yeah, fair play on him. And we want to see more of that today. Uh, more of that today, sorry. More of that on Saturday. Yeah. Um, not, just not being scared. Just not being scared of him and don't be scared to press because when we've got that, when we're pressing and we, if we go no one nil up, in, in, we go one nil up in the first fifteen minutes. The, the fans are going to be all those memories from that previous week against Cambridge or even Newcastle if you were there, if if for whoever were there. Hmm. The crowd are straight on the crowd are straight on our side, and you'll be cheering them on, and it'll be you know, and all those great memories from that day will come flooding back, and will, mm. and it, it's that sense of belief around the place, which is something that we've that we've talked about before, we've lacked uh, yeah. from last season. Um, so yeah, all, I, I, I've got my finger, I've got my fingers. There's no better time to play them. Um, we've just got to, we've got to act, we've got. To, to um, act on this momentum that we've got going at the moment. Act on it and impose it on it. So <coughs> we'll just go through, predict a starting lineup, and you know, there'll be a few positions here that you, you possibly think, yeah, it might be a change. Uh, mm. I think we all kind of see Walton's going to be in. Uh, that, you know, no disrespect to Jamie Silver, but I think Walton will be back for that one. Uh, again, wing backs, a bit. I, I think it could be Williams at wing back, right wing back. I think it could be a back three, uh, more or less the same against Cambridge, where it's Anderson, Cundy, because, you know, first goal for him, so confidence for lad there. Yeah. Um, McCarthy, maybe, with Kitchen at left wing back. But 
And this is where I could see it change a bit. I could see McCarthy getting rested, Kitchen going into, you know, the centre back role if he's not suspended for this. And I could see mm. even Nicky Caron coming back as left wing back. You know what I mean? For the back. Yeah. Um, the only thing with that with, with, with Caron, unfortunately, is there, is it going to be too much for him? Mm. Um, mm. Because he had to play. He, he, I mean, he played last 30 minutes for against Cambridge as well. We've got yeah. to consider that. And then I think he, you know, when, when did he come off? I can't remember when he came off on the Newcastle game. Did he come off? Or did he come off at half time, so he had 45 minutes. Come off at half time. So, yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, you have got, yeah. I mean, it's it, it, it's a good possibility he might play. Um, oh, he I could have that know. Lebesh as well. You know, wonder goal against uh, or he could. Newcastle. So there's a possibility yeah. here, couldn't there? Yeah. Yeah, well, bench, if yeah. if we want to go into our argument about you know, uh, you know, trying to build on the confidence and try and build team that build team that's confident um, mm. and wanted to wanted to get at get it at Charlton. I mean, there's no better argument for it. I don't think than putting the putting the young lad in. Obviously, there's the, you run the risk of if he makes a mistake early on in the game, he becomes yeah. really shaky and <coughs> you know. But mm. I, I, you know, he, he seems like he seems like. A decent enough player, and I've got to have try and have. We've got to try and have as much faith for him, encourage him as much as possible. Um, but I think, I mean, I mean, it's very highly likely. I mean, it's highly likely that Kitchen's going to be suspended. Mm. Um, which, despite his sending off, I think, um, I think it's going to be a big miss for us. Um, mm. But yeah, if he only played forty-five minutes, I reckon Nicky Cadden. Nicky Cadden mm. will probably could probably slip into there and do a job there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <coughs> so we'll go on to midfield. And again, this is depending on, you know, if some players are going to be back fit and back. So Herbie Kane, I think he's like is improving game by game since he's come back from injury. Luke Thomas yep. and Benson. Yeah. Because I know Benson's had a few games. I think Luke O'Connell's still out, as far as I'm aware. I think he's still out, Luke O'Connell, with that hamstring. Uh, so yep. would you risk him? Mm, I don't know. But again, if Benson not hundred percent fit, you've got such as like Matty Wolf, you know, or Adam Phillips. Again, there's a few options there, but I don't know what you take on midfield uh three there, Daniel. It's difficult. I think that I think that putting Yeah, I think I think I, I completely agree with you with you, Kane Kane Benson Thomas. Line. I, it's just. I think obviously we we look at Connell even if he's unfit, even if he even if he isn't fit, he isn't quite fit yet, and we put him on. We we start for the first forty five minutes. I think that we Herbie the way he played on we played on Saturday. Um, <clears> Benson, <throat> I think he came off on. He came on and did an absolute fantastic job. I thought Josh Benson, <clears> and <throat> then you've got Thomas who's been consistently good all season. You can't really I, I i i can't i couldn't really justify take it would be unfortunate on luke o'connell and but i think mm. luke o'connell and I, I was discussing this with somebody not right show you your thoughts on it on it neil mm. yeah but i think luke o'connell is one of those players it's going to be great when you're playing like i don't know like a portsmouth away from home or in ips which away mm. from you know he played great against it so he's just got that defensive he, he just yeah. knows when to kind of like get back make those tackles now when you're at home and you want to go in the front four, you're going to be needing players like you're going to be needing players like Thomas Benson, and because Benson's mm. turned into a more pressing player this season, Irby, mm. we know that he can, we know that he can, he loves to dictate play in middle of, in middle at park. Um, so I think that for a home game against this side that's out of form, I think you've just got to play Irby Kane, or you've got to play mm. Irby Kane and, and and drop Luke O'Connell, which is unfortunate because I think he's a really really good player, Luca, but. I think yeah. it's just all about the kind of tactics and what we want, what we want him from the game, really. Yeah, and I'm, I'm forgetting all. But you're on about that pressing as well. You've got Josh Martin to throw it mix as well. That link up play as well with Josh Martin. So yeah. there's options there, didn't there? You know what I mean? And it's nice options to have rather than thinking, oh, oh yeah, you definitely. Know, going, you know, going into you know, no disrespect to under under 18s here, like, but when you look at options there, and I think even like what you said there. You know, if you look on bench, then we haven't even mentioned bench. It's, it's looking a pretty tasty bench, what we could be possibly having, such as like Will Undermark, we haven't mentioned. You know, Luca Connell, if he's not 100% fit, he could come in. Laresh, mm. you know, to make an impact. You know, Matty Wolf, mm. Josh Martin, it's like his name's there thinking, do you know what? 
they'd not last season they'd have walked into its side. Now it's like yeah, exactly. you're gonna get them into side. So that's how much it's changed at the minute. I mean, uh, the, the one the one great thing about it, Neil, is that and I look at that side, and those names you've just mentioned. I mean, I know Matty Wolf, uh, Matty Wolf. You know, th- those are lads with quite strong characters. You know, there is, mm-hmm. it's, you know, I hate to sound a bit like Roy Keane here, but you, you, it's all about having that stre- having that strength and want, and you know, mm-hmm. being able to rely on, or be able to to rely on them. I wouldn't feel at least a bit bad about, you know, okay, if you know Kane. Came all balls off with you. Well, you know he's he's had injury problems. He all balls off with a bit of an hamstring problem. You've got Luke O'Connell coming on. You've got Matty Wolf coming on. Those are yeah. lads that, that are the strong <laughs> players, and they can and and they're. I think they're they're uh, the, the the whole part the, the greatest quality of their game. Part of their game is being able to control that ball in the middle of the park and provide you with stability. So if we're we're two, if we're two, you know, if we've just gone down, if we've just, you know, we're winning two one, there's no better players you're going to want on there because they're going to be wanted to see out and get 100. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Which again, like you said, it's it's a lot of that. That's a lot of reassurance for a lot of reassurance, especially from from our performances last season when it would, oh. you know, where where we were yeah. making substitutions and it were like, oh, we've bought mm-hmm. we. We've bought him on to change the game, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's so yeah, it's completely brilliant. changed on it. Uh, I think front two, I, I think he'll <laughs> yeah. probably go with front two. What he has done, uh, Devante Cole and Young Aitchison. Um, I can't see him changing yeah. that much. Yeah, you've got Norwood and you've got Tedich, but personally, I don't think he'll change it. I think he'll he'll go with Aitchison basically just because he's running and his work rate pressing down at home. And yeah. Cole again, you can't drop him his couple of goals in the last couple of games like now. So he's going to be one of them on yeah. form, isn't he? You know what I mean? I, I think he's more, probably one of his most informed players at the moment. Um, yeah. Is Devante? Yeah. Uh, who would have expected that at the start of the season? Um, mm. But but yeah, I think um, I, I will stick to what I said. I mean, I know Norwood scored, and I know Norwood scored, and um, uh, you know after I said it, but I, I still think that. Norwood is a uh, is a player that we're going to bring we're going to bring on. I can see I, I can see a lot of Duff Duff mm. really liking what Aikerson and Good Devante impact, brings to the squad. It? Yeah, 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 he is. And, yeah. and and you know I'm not, I, I'm so yeah. I, I think that I think that um, Norwood's going to probably be coming on at the end. Uh, coming on, we you know fifty minutes when there's fifty minutes on the clock, and we're going to try and. Um, we're going to try and out, out ball up, and he's going to try and bully defenders a little bit. Um, mm. So yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you didn't ask. Well, I know you've put Robbie Cundy straight away, and I'm glad I didn't have to comment on that after I said that he, he's a bit shaky and needs <laughs> dropping. And when he scored against Cambridge, I was like, oh god. He might have been, <laughs> might have been watching you. Might have been watching you for yeah. You know what? I'll yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to avoid saying if I might say something bad about him this week, he'll score an hat trick. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't bad at all, will it? <laughs> so yeah, it weren't bad. It weren't bad. It was just a bit of a, uh, it constructive criticism. <laughs> and he took it on board and he scored. So there's no talk about yeah, There we are. No there we are. Uh, so it kind of <laughs> leads us on to his next, you know, final segment. Ben uh, predicted score, but you know what? I can see it going, uh, Daniel. Um, just going on. Uh, just go if. I, I I hope I hope well I I actually I do believe that we are going to try and take some momentum away in into the game that we did against Cambridge. Yeah. Um, I think we're in good spirits. We're a good win midweek. I'm gonna go two 0 Barnsley. Two 0 Barnsley. Yeah, I'm gonna go two one Barnsley. I think we Charlton. I know like it's a very poor record. We've been drawing a lot, you know. So we've, we've been drawing a lot of, of games. But I'd like to see that momentum just take us in. And I think Fiscal's going to... I think if we can get Fiscal and still keep on it as well. Um, I think if Charlton do get the Fiscal, I just hope that we keep a shape and we don't like try and go something different and it kind of backfire like at, at, at Wickham. We went one note down, has dropped a bit. You know, like being at home, like you said, Vier is like pressure's more on us. I like to have that same mentality 
against Ipswich, against Cambridge, against Sheffield Wednesday, when we were up and at them in the faces mm. and put them off their game rather than them trying to put us off our game kind of thing. So, uh, 2 1 Barnsley, I'm going for 2 1 Barnsley. Um, I take two and out, clean sheet and move on. But I think now nah, it's just a matter of getting points, you know, getting three points and keeping in touch with it to top at packing it kind of thing. <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's about getting out there and enjoy, it's about getting out there and enjoying the sends as well. Which I, you know, I watch them away from home and it didn't. There's never been an aspect to it where I've looked and I'm thinking they're not. They don't look like they're enjoying the sends, you know. And hmm. you know, get ball on deck, play a bit nice bit, of, play nice bits of football, and I'm like, you know, and. Try having those shots from outside of the. Uh, try having those shots outside the box and yeah, and you know enjoy enjoy it a little enjoy it a little bit. You're in front of your own fans. That's when you're supposed to be enjoying your football. So yeah. So yeah. Um. Let's let's hope we can see a bit of that Saturday as well. So let's see a bit of that for own fans. Uh. Thanks for watching. Bounds in Charlton. Please, if you say in comments below, let us know your thoughts, score predictions. Or would you would you uh, start with some at uh, players? Would you have butter for long bench? By the way. You know, seeing his early match going out to come forth. So, there's a few talking points. Leave your comments below. Daniel, as always, it's been great having you on, my friend. Uh, some good talk, some good debate, some banter as well. And we'll get you, <laughs> Thanks, and we'll, we'll get you back on soon because uh, games are coming up thick and fast. So, everybody watch watching, I've, uh, thank you for taking your time out watching. One thing I have to say, you Reds. You Reds.